you know, there's a hole that was needing to be filled, and that's that we have 30,000 people at a any given time on campus. The city of Berkeley is a city of its own. As you know, Berkeley Fire Department is the main um, response for that city, and there are backups of the county. But if something were to happen, an emergency um, of some sort, like a local disaster, um, a natural disaster, any mass casualty incident where there is an explosive device and, um, and a mass shooter event, um, there's not really that hole that's filled by the existing structure. That's, so that's kind of where we moved into um, the structure of the Medical Reserve Corps, which is um, a federal program. Basically, it is units across the country that were formed after 9-11. Um, to create a more structured response to um, local jurisdictions when an emergency were to come into place. So what did we learn a lot from 9-11? It was chaotic, um, responses were inefficient, um, people weren't where they needed to be. There was a bunch of people who wanted to help but we just didn't know how to because there was nothing in place for us to. There were firefighters, doctors, medics running, rushing to the scene and literally not enough people to actually be doing patient care and let it run efficiently. That's where the MRC program started. It's, it's um, based out of the Surgeon General's office and it is um, consists of units across the country where local medical professionals gather, they organize and train together to um, support police departments, fire departments, military, um, emergency medical services, uh, local hospitals if a disaster were to happen um, in their local area. Hi, I'm Hilary Tang. I'm a fourth year at Cal and I'm an EMT. I'm the director of the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps, which is a um, volunteer federal deployable disaster response unit based on the UC Berkeley campus that is catered to our campus and the surrounding community. Hi, my name is Christopher Brems. I'm a senior here at Cal. I'm a public health major and global poverty and practice minor. I first joined the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps when I was first a small club here on campus called Bear EMS. And that club only had a few members, but when I first came here at Cal, I had I already had an EMT license and I wanted to know if there was something I could do with it. Not just in the community, but here at home, where I could see that there were people who needed help on the campus, next to the campus, wherever it was. My name is Steven Elko. Uh, I am the Deputy Director of Training in the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps. Uh, and I became an EMT uh, two years ago um, after my freshman year, where in the uh, first few days I got a field uh, CPR save. Um, I resuscitated um, a young man. Um, I didn't get his name. I actually left the scene really soon. Um, and it just seemed like a really good idea to get my uh, EMT cert. And then I uh, joined the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps to uh, continue training and then uh, give back to the campus community. I would say that the most impactful thing that I did here at Cal within the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps is when I was a spring semester in freshman year, I founded the CPR program here on campus and me together with a few other initial instructors created a nonprofit CPR program. What's unique about this program is that is that was and currently is the cheapest you'll find in the country. We teach, we teach classes to the average person, to doctors, nurses, students, whoever it is, for $15. Anywhere else you go, charges about $65 across the street, $85 or $100 anywhere else. So the point of the CPR program was to decrease the barrier of access, whether it's price or geographic location, to help equip the campus members, whether they're professors, staff, for students and help them become involved in protecting our campus. Because when something happens, the chances that we, the EMTs on campus, will be around is very slim. So that program that is existing now has trained just about over 400 students, faculty, staff, and community members in CPR. And I would say that's the most memorable and impactful thing I've done in the Berkeley Medical Reserve Corps and here at Cal.